the No Fade channel, checking in. On today's episode of Daddy Daycare, I am talking to you dads about why it's so important to do things with your children that you may not be interested in, that you may not like, that you may just, in fact, hate. I am dedicated to helping you dads be great parents to your kids and still accomplish your own personal goals. Today, I wanna to talk to you dads about why it is so important to expose your kids, to take your kids to areas, activities, events that you have no interest in, that you may downright despise and find to be a complete waste of time. I'll give you a prime example. Oftentimes, as parents, we push our kids towards the things that we're interested in ourselves. I happen to love Boston's Museum of Science. I mean, before I had children, I went there about once a month. I, I've had a membership there for forever. So obviously, now that I have children, well, they've got to go too. And we, my son loves it there, and I love it there, so we take them very, very often. Um, and it's obviously a good fit because I like it, he likes it, we go, we have a good time, we've got the membership and whatnot. However, there are things that I do not like to do that my son very much enjoys. Um, and I'll give you a prime example. We live near the Stone Zoo in Stoneham, Massachusetts. At one point at my childhood, the Stone Zoo was rated the worst zoo in America. Now, now it's certainly improved since then, but I have never had a love for zoos. I find them to be um, not only a waste of time, but downright sad, okay? I never like to see animals in cages. Many of the zoos, even the really good ones, um, I find these cages very, very small and the animals just look so sad to me. But the reality is my son loves the zoo and it, it's important that I take him to the zoo because that's the only way that he's going to be able to see many of these animals and creatures and, 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 and whatnot and get a real up close look at them. And if I didn't bring him to the zoo, he would really be ignorant of how these creatures look, how they walk. How they how they move and you know they're, even their size compared to him. Uh, so even though when I go to the zoo, I really cringe because not only do I, it brings back bad memories from when I went as a kid to that Stoneham Zoo because it was such a horrible zoo back then, but also because I, again I hate to see these animals in cages. They look downright sad. As a parent, you probably already know this. There's going to be so many activities and events that your kids are going to be interested in that you're going to either find to be a complete waste of time or downright hate. I'm going to tell you right now just to bury that. Put on a happy face. Expose your kids to those activities, especially if they're educational, um, because you don't want to have the blinders on your son or your daughter because you only expose them to the stuff that you or your wife might be interested in. It's going to be better for them in the long run. And, uh, you know, a few hours of your discomfort or a few of your, you know, annoyance is, is, is better than just keeping your kid ignorant of some of the other activities, events, and stuff that are out there. Hopefully you dads found this video informative. If you came this far, hey, give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and check off that notification bell. As usual, thanks for watching, and don't save anything for the trip back. I am dedicated to helping you dads be great parents to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I post tips and tricks to save you dads time, energy, and money. Three things that are in short supply for every dad out there.